So let's start with how to use this asset. I will show you uh, how to work with uh, this dungeon generator script and now I put five elements to the ground and now five elements to the walls. So actually to generate dungeon you need only a walls element. Okay, that's it. And now we can try to generate snake dungeon. And it's randomly at the line dungeon. Okay, let's clean it. And one more time. And now it's snake dungeon. Okay, let's clean it. So this is the sides elements for your floor and walls. This is the size of your room and this is the size of your dungeon. So if you have 25 elements you will have 25 rooms in your dungeon. So maximum 25 rooms. So let's try something out. So as you see we have too many rooms in our dungeons now. Okay, let's generate normal one. It must be really big. Okay, you see it. Okay, I would say clean it and play with uh, with the normal sizes. So 10 and 4. And 25 for, for the maximal rooms in your dungeon. Okay, this is starting position elements for your dungeon. This is a prefab. And now let's go to the optional object. Let's play with lamps. These elements are located close to the walls. And we can try a column. Columns divide the walls. Okay, let's generate one. So, and let's try it out. So, as you can see, lamps are close to the walls and you see the dividers. Okay, I think that's enough. Let's stop it. And now I would try to play with furniture. So you can use uh, different objects, environments, loot, and whatever you wish to put in this uh, game object array. Okay, let's uh, put something. in the element slots clean the dungeon and generate for example this one and let's uh, play Okay, as you see, we have an environment now. Okay, let's stop it. 
and now I'll jump a little bit and play um, with a roof boolean so it's clean and now here is one and generate dungeon so as you can see we have a roofs now so I think it's something for action shooter or action games you see roofs okay maybe it's not the best example to to show you the roof because I use uh, ground elements for the roof but I don't really need it for uh, hack and slash games but you will find something for your roof I also put in the project two documentation files where you can find uh, the first one dungeon generator there are many information about how to use all values and attributes and also NAV mesh surfaces documentation how to use and install this uh, mighty plugin from Unity in my asset.